the return of a New York City tradition. The Columbus Day Parade marching along Fifth Avenue once again this year. The largest event we've seen like this since the start of the pandemic, but the holiday comes with a mix of pride and protest amid the ongoing push to rename it Indigenous Peoples Day. Dana Arshin starts us off live tonight in Midtown with more on the celebrations and the controversy. Dana. Steve, yeah, there is a lot of controversy surrounding this day, but for the thousands of people who came out here, it was really just a day to celebrate. Dozens of groups, including high school marching bands and city agencies, made their way up Fifth Avenue here, and really it was extra meaningful for them to be able to be back here in person this year. This is uh, something that uh, touched the heart, something that goes to the roots of people, passing to the new generation. The Columbus Day Parade back here in New York City for the 77th year after it was canceled last year due to COVID. Actually, I think that this is a really, really good thing because I see a lot of cultures coming together, which is pretty much what New York encompasses. I was mainly looking forward to like just the parade in general and the music and uh, watching the whole thing. More than 100 different groups marched up Fifth Avenue from the 40s to the 70s. FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro of Italian descent receiving a humanitarian award. Mayor de Blasio and NYPD Commissioner Shea also in attendance, along with Governor Hochul. Oh, I love it. This is so New York. It's our first holiday parade since the pandemic hit, and I can't wait to see everybody. New York is back. Democratic mayoral candidate Eric Adams didn't march, but Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa did, with the city's general election just a month away. Sliwa shared his thoughts on some of the controversies surrounding in Columbus Day. In any period of history, you have the good, the bad, the ugly. That's just the way it's been. You don't all of a sudden throw the baby out with the bathwater. Christopher Columbus, for a lot of Italian Americans, represented the struggle when they came to America. On Friday, Biden became the first president to issue a proclamation commemorating Indigenous Peoples Day. He also acknowledged the death and destruction that Native communities suffered after Columbus journeyed to North America in the late 1500s. We heard some mixed reactions out here along the parade route. I think there's a culture that's happening that wants to be more inclusive and to uh, sort of celebrate all of the great cultures that have helped build America. So we are doing that today. To me, it's always going to be Columbus Day. I was born in Italy. I'm proud to be Italian. I'm proud of the contribution that Italian Americans have made to this country. And to me, it's always going to be Columbus Day. He was a great explorer. Now, not only was this such a meaningful day for Italian Americans, but a lot of spectators out here from all different cultural groups are just hoping that this large in-person gathering is a sign that life and this city are getting back to normal slowly but shortly. We're live in Midtown. Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News. Steve. All right. Thanks, Dana.